got hurt last Thursday playing against the game, playing in um, a game against Buffalo, and he got hit by Demar Hamlet, or he ran into Demar Hamlet. Which remember he had his scare where they had to cancel the game, but Tua got his third concussion. He was out. Uh, he ended up getting up, walking off. They helped him off the field. His coach, you know, embraced him. And he's had a, a list of injuries, honestly. He ended his Alabama career off an of injury. His body's pretty much made of glass, honestly. But there, you've been hearing reports about whether or not Tua will keep playing. I earlier saw a, a article saying that he said he was going to still play. And then as I do some more research, I don't see that. I see he's going to speak to a neurologist and so on and so forth. Also, the team has not cleared him. They said he could be cleared to, pe to play. Uh, he's thinking about the idea of possibly retiring. And if they do retire, if he has to retire because of his head injuries, they said the Dolphins could still owe him $124 million when he just signed a contract extension recently over the summer, I believe. So, honestly... I think Tua should retire. He should have been retired, especially after that second concussion. He did say that he thought about retiring. But look, man, football, it ain't worth it. I know it's good money. I know you want to be a quarterback. But his body cannot handle it. Even Andrew Luck, he retired. He was supposed to be a generational quarterback. He was like, man, I can't take the pain to the, my, my neck and so on and so far. I can't do it no more. You already made $43 million this year. If you retire, they probably got to pay you the rest. Man, you could go be a the coach of Alabama, man, or go back and coach old high school or something. But his body cannot handle it. And if he comes back and he get hit, it's going to happen again and again. Tua might eventually end up being like a like like a, uh, a professional fighter. You know how a lot of them are punch drunk and they don't know where they at. And man, you can't. Your body is not made to do it. See, football itself is already a dangerous sport. And I appreciate how they are trying to make it safer, especially when I got kids that's playing. And, you know, I, I still got injuries that I had in high school. I remember back in the day, man, if you got hit and you got like, coach, my, my head hurt me. Shut up, man. Get back out there. But um, my first year in high school was the year that the lineman, I think it was a lineman, he passed away. In Minnesota, because Randy Moss, I remember him doing a press conference crying about it. But it seemed like they've been trying to make the game safer. That's why I understand why they're doing the kickoffs like they do now. I understand why they don't want you hitting the quarterback. I understand they don't want chop blocking and so on and so forth because, you know, people can really get hurt. <laughs> I do remember, though, the old days where they had highlights of, like, people getting knocked out and big hits or you play Madden or a game and you knock out a, a football player, the ambulance come out there and pick them up and – Helm was getting knocked off. They changed all of that because they don't want football to be a complete barbarian sport. And I understand that, especially when people of you know who play back in the 50s, 60s, 70s them end up suing the league and end up the league end up having to pay them a huge settlement. But yeah, man, but I digress. But when it comes back to Tua, Tua, honestly, man, he just need to hang it up. If I was him, hang it up, man. You got a whole lot more life of football ahead of you. You you already wealthy. You know, if you saved your money, they got to pay you the rest of the freight, the, at least $124 million. So, it, I, but I get it, it's that competitive nature, but no, nah, man, you got to be here, man, because Tua, I don't know if y'all can hear this, but that's how Tua Brain's going to sound if he keeps playing, man. So, forget it. You got uh, kids and stuff to live for. It's just the game at the end of the day. You already rich off of it, you know? So, and like I said, you, you played at a, at a, you won a national title at Alabama. You can always go back to coaching. So, you know, just move on, man. Move on, man. The football don't be that. It's not that deep. I know growing up, we all thought that making it to the NFL would do this and do that. But, man, I'm glad I didn't make it to the league, man. Honestly, you know? So, cause the, the older you get, you realize how much of a business it is. And it's, it's, it's just that. And there's going to be many a decades after football. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Again, hopefully he retires. But, hey, it's really up to him and the, the Dolphins. But tell me what y'all think.